together, we pray the ecological examine. Let us take a moment to leave the busyness of the day. Stop what we are doing and be still. Become aware of where you are. Pay attention to your breathing. Take a moment just to be still and to call to mind that we are in the presence of God. As we begin our examine today, we wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we live, learn and work, the land of the Wadawurrung people of the Kulin Nation. We recognise and respect their cultural heritage, beliefs and relationship with this land, which continues to be important to Wadawurrung people today. We make the sign of the cross together, in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As you look back over the past week, call to mind one thing that you are grateful for. Maybe it was going for a walk, enjoying your backyard garden, breathing the fresh air, enjoying the beach and the cool sea breeze, or just being present in creation. Hold this moment in your heart. Ask that you become more open to God's spirit and the insight that it brings. Pray that you become more aware of the beauty of creation and how God is present within all our natural surroundings. God is love and God is in all things. Look back over the past week and ask God to show you the moments where you just felt God's presence where you felt most alive, where you felt joy, peace or love. Maybe you were walking on the beach with the sand between your toes or sitting on your backyard on soft grass with the sun beaming on your face or surfing with the cool ocean water against your skin. Now recall the sights and sounds, feelings and conversations that come to mind when you recall these moments. How did you feel in these moments? At peace? Grounded? Excited? Calm? Energised? What may God be saying to you through these moments? Now, Ask God for forgiveness for the times you rejected the beauty in creation and lacked gratitude for the natural world. For the times you have fallen short in living sustainably as guardians of God's creation. For the times you weren't the person that God is inviting you to be. Ask God for strength and comfort during these times. As you look towards tomorrow, ask God for the grace to be with you, to guide you and to open your eyes to appreciating the beauty in nature. How can you make each interaction you have with the natural world benefit it rather than harm it? How can you live more sustainably and walk lightly upon this earth to ensure it protects and provides for our children's children? Pray for the grace to care more for our common home. In the name of Jesus, in the spirit of Ignatius, companions for a faith that does justice. Saint Ignatius, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.